Welcome to show number six for October 9th, 2008. Thanks for coming back. I'm Dan Doherty, your host and your CEO of TipTopWebsite.com. TipTopWebsite.com, where you can create your own website online in only 60 seconds for $1. Stay tuned because at the end of this show, I'll give you a promo code to get your free domain. That's right, a free domain for as long as you have a website with us. All right, on to the show. I'm going to tell you about a cool website. You like YouTube? You like college humor? You like those video sharing sites? I know you probably know about YouTube. Well, there's dozens of others just like YouTube. But you can only watch those online, or can you? Try out Vixie, V-I-X-Y dot net. Vixie dot net is a great website where it will convert YouTube videos and other videos online into a format where you can watch them on external device, such as an iPod. So you go to vixie.net and right there it'll say URL. And you get the URL by going to YouTube. So go to YouTube, type in what you want, um, ACDC live in England, <laughs> for example, if, you'd like, if you're an ACDC fan. You copy the address, youtube.com slash watch, question mark V equals, and it'll give you a long address. That's the address bar on top, the URL. Copy that, paste it into vixie.net, and then you'll have a drop-down box, convert it into whatever you want. It'll say MP, MP4 for iPod, for example. You click that, click start, boom, you're done. You can also save it as a audio file, an MP3 file. You can save it in all these different formats. It's fantastic. Now, all the videos you watch on YouTube, you can save to an external device. Can you imagine downloading uh, movie clips, news clips, TV shows, anything on YouTube, you can now put on your iPod. Fantastic, huh? Try it out. Let me know what you think. Vixie.net, V-I-X-Y.net. And of course, totally free. Enjoy it. You ever heard of Goog 411? Free directory assistance. You ever try to dial 411 on your cell phone? 75 cents to $1.75 they charge you. That's crazy. Let's try Goog 411. We'll try it now. Here we go. Speakerphone 1-800-4664, which is Goog. 411. Let's turn the speakerphone up so you can hear it here. Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. What business name or category? Blockbuster Video. Top listing. Blockbuster Video on Southwest 13th Street. I'll connect you. You can also say more results, details, or go back. Hold on. We're holding. Let's try this out. Hey, is this Blockbuster Video in Miami, Florida? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Oh. Hey, hey, do you have Mission Impossible 3 in? Let me check. Thank you. Yes. Is this great? 411, free. Now, Google will probably put ads in afterwards, but uh, for now, there's no ads. Oh, free. oh, you, oh you don't? Okay, thank you so much anyways. Have a nice day. Thank you, bye-bye. Goog 411, check it out. 1-800-GOOG-411. If you're calling in the city and state, you're having a tough time saying they're not understanding you. It's just a computer talking to you. Just type in the zip code. It'll get you right to it. All right, Goog 411. Hollywood story of the week. Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons, lead singer and guitarist for Kiss. Kiss, the band's been around since the 70s and still going strong. One of the most successful bands ever. I had a chance to meet him at a party. Uh, a good friend of mine, Stephen Bishop. You know, the singer, on and on, she keeps on, I can't sing, but that's the song he sung. Separate Lives, he wrote for Phil Collins. He was the uh, guitar player in Animal House uh, when John Belushi smashed the guitar. Stephen Bishop, a huge uh, singer-songwriter. Anyways, I was at a party at Stephen's house and had a chance to meet Gene Simmons. Wow, what a great guy. You should have seen it. Uh, all these young girls are at the party. They didn't know who anyone else was except for Gene Simmons. They just kept saying, Gene, Gene, let me see you drop that tongue down to your chin. He is a entertainer. 
Uh, I used to have very long hair, longer hair than I had now. And he was asking me, do you play music? You're in a band, we should jam together. And I said, boy, I wish I knew how to play guitar. I'd love to jam with you. Anyways, I had a chance to talk to the guy and uh, somehow it got into dancing. Um, I ran nightclubs for a long time and he says, oh, you still in the nightclub business? And I said, no, the dancing day is no more. He said, dancing day is no more. I like that. Can I use that as a song? And I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> I went home to all my friends. Gene Simmons is going to write a song, Dancing Days No More. And I gave him uh, the song title. I don't think he ever used it, but if he did, let me know. Um, <laughs> I don't want any money for it. He's just, uh, what a character. What a great guy. Uh, great opportunity to meet the guy. And uh, Gene Simmons, really a rock and roll legend. And he's got, uh, he's got a TV show on Gene Simmons' Family of Jewels. It's kind of like the uh, Osbournes, but uh, you can understand what he's saying. So check it out. Gene Simmons, The Family Jewels. I think it's on A&E. It's a great show. Uh, really shows Gene uh, showcasing his talents, which is a promoter. First and foremost, he is a promoter of himself. Uh, one of the reasons maybe why the band has had such longevity besides their fantastic movie. So that's my Hollywood story of the week. My movie pick of the week. One of my favorite... favorite <laughs> Favorite, favorite TV shows growing up was Mission Impossible. Remember Mission Impossible? That was just a fantastic television series. Well, Tom Cruise reprised that and starred as Ethan Hunt in the first Mission Impossible movie a few years ago. He did MI2, then MI3, Mission Impossible 3. Mission Impossible 3 is my movie pick of the week. Phenomenal. Here's the uh, synopsis of it. The film begins with Agent Agent Ethan Hunt and a woman held captive and threatened by an unarmed man who demands that Hunt reveals the location of an item codenamed the rabbit's foot. The captor threatens to shoot the woman, and then, as tears fall from Hunt's face, he fires the gun. The narrator then rolls back five days. Tom Cruise knows how to do it. J.J. Abrams directed this. Um, Tom Cruise knows how to do it big. If you want to see a movie with big explosions, a huge budget, watch this movie. I mean, some of those movies that come out now, they shoot them on a shoestring budget. They're green screened, like green screen, like the one behind me. <laughs> but this movie, hundreds of millions of dollars to make, and it shows. I mean, it is down to the detail, action, drones flying around the air, shooting missiles at them. It is the real deal. I mean, they go on location all around the world. They film this movie. If you love action, you love drama, if you love Tom Cruise, get this. Some people may not love, love Tom Cruise. Now, this guy's been around forever. I'll watch anything he does because he's a great actor. And most importantly, he's passionate about it. Now, some people hate Tom Cruise because he's with Scientology. He's like one of the head Scientologists. So he's like a Phaeton 5 or a Phaeton 6. Uh, that's in Scientology, which means that he and maybe a couple other people can see the aliens among us. That's right. Tom Cruise believes he can see the aliens among us. You know what? Maybe he can. I never had a chance to meet Tom Cruise. And if I, if I meet him, uh, I definitely would ask him if I'm an alien or a human. And who's the aliens? Who's the humans? People get down on him. You know, he jumped on Oprah's couch saying he loves Katie Holmes. He loves her. He loves her. And people thought he was a freak. He gets married to her. They have a baby. What's wrong with that? You know, you, you'd put that in, the, in a movie with the, with the soundtrack behind it. Uh, all the women would go crazy for it. All the guys would say, oh, what a great thing to do. You know, uh, Jerry Maguire, I watched that last night, and he comes in and gives uh, 